Okay, good morning guys, today's Friday. I'm headed in to get this shit done, but take a look at this. At least it's beautiful. Driving in was a blast this morning. All over the place, nothing's been salted or plowed. Because that's the way we do things here in Hudson. We don't salt or plow any snow roads until about noon. So that's great when you've got buses and high schoolers trying to go to school. All right, 2.05, it is freezing out here. It's been very windy, so we've got snow drifts everywhere in between cars. It's like a foot of snow here and there's nothing here, it's just decked. All right, I'm over here at the post office in Hudson and uh, I'm going to mail your ram now. Sorry I didn't do it yesterday, but uh, off it goes. Well, it's good to see they've plowed our roads. If I shift in the fifth gear at 1,000 RPM, yep, there's the orange light. So this car is powerful enough to spin tires at 1,000 at RPM. Uh, then again, there's very little resistance out here. Wow. Yeah, so I did get uh, that package sent, uh, so you should have that in a couple days. I'm using just regular U.S. mail uh, from here to Los Angeles is, I don't know, three, four days at most, I would guess. Today's Friday, you should have it by the middle of next week. So it's been uh, snowing pretty much all day. I think we've got maybe three inches on, on the grass, three or four inches. Uh, but it's been really windy. Maybe you can see the stuff coming down now. It's just blowing all over the place. And their roof over there barely has any accumulation because it's just blown off. And you can see how it's blowing in drifts. Um, but the roads aren't too bad now. This morning they were a little bit worse. Um, but I made it without any problems. I got that package sent. So you'll be expecting that ram in the next couple days. It's just 3 o'clock now. Uh, it's Friday. Last day of the quarter. So I've got a, three days of exams next week. The first day won't be bad. The last day I don't have to go in at all. Uh, the killer is going to be Wednesday. I think I've got three exams in a row, which would be, I want to say, uh, English, which will be done by then. I haven't done it yet, but we do it out of class and turn it in, and then we're just going to watch movies exam day. Then I have um, math, which is going to suck, and then ecology, which will be okay. And then I'll be done, but uh, Tuesday I will have to go in for one exam which is um, government, so that won't be too bad either. But as I've said before, at least it's pretty out here, and I would rather have a little bit of snow than uh, just dirt and grass and shit like we usually have in the winter around here anymore. <laughs> the ball is down there somewhere, Taylor. Oh, here. Okay. Hey, you're a spider! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Darn! Alright, well, we got these two guys oh, over here. You moved it, faggot! They're trying to, uh, board. <laughs> <laughs> Now this is where all those, they're over there, but the postcards that Ryan used, this is where they were. Until Taylor hit it, and it fell off. And, uh, <laughs> no, it's it's such high quality! Oh, I can ah! Because this is so expensive to replace. Taylor! What the hell? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Put glue in there, too! Oh no. It'll make a tight fit. <laughs> Taylor! Hey, <laughs> you're not doing real well here. <laughs> <laughs> It's been like years since I played this. <laughs> yeah, we should tell. Well, oh no. It's, it's getting nicked. Alright boys, what time is it? It's about 9 o'clock. We got Alex over here and uh, Kenan and we're playing a little ping a pong. Yeah. What's the score? Oh, he's up up high now. I have no idea what the score is. Actually, your Rolex is slow, right? Get money, get paid. Yeah. yeah. So what's your excuse? Um, what? what? What are you wearing over there, bud? Oh, nice. We can't see it. What is it? It's a bitch. All right, play. Come on. Your fault. Oh, this kid over here's got. Oh wow. Pull that out of there. This kid's gotten a lot better. And Kenan's never really been good, but. <laughs> no. Okay. No. All right, come on. We got the good part of the song coming up. I love this song. You know what it is, Kenan? Whoa! Oh, no. oh, no. oh wow! <laughs> it's Phyllis Khan! <laughs> <laughs> Phyllis Khan. Here. You gotta hit that. And there it is. 
This is a Ferrari song. I always remember listening to this in the car when we first got the Ferrari. This was the CD we played. Oh yeah, Phil Collins hits. It's totally uh, 80s for a 90s car. This is like Testarossa music. It is. With the big shoulder pads and the white rolled up suit. <laughs> yeah, uh, Miami Vice. The camera is not picking up the glow in the dark ping pong table, but it's pretty intense. We can see it. Wait, if I put on one light, you can actually see the wall. I've got my off. Why? What are you gonna do? Oh. Wait, do you want to charge one? Yeah. Here, put it in front of the light. Put one in front of each light. No, let's do both right here, like this. There you go. Charge them up, bud. All right, we can see the bright green paddles now. And the balls are glowing. The camera's not picking this light up. It's color sensitivity is definitely not that good. But we can see the bright green paddles over here. This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm gonna open my trunk here. What the hell is this shit? Two Mexicans in my trunk? Ho ho! Catch. All right, hey guys, it is just about 11.45. I'm gonna wrap this up and take care of a uh, question, a PM, or I think it was a comment actually on yesterday's video, asked about the BMW E38. If you don't have any interest in that, I understand you don't need to stick around for the next few minutes, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spout my demastery about that. So uh, if you're leaving now, good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. If you're not, hi, you're into the late part. Uh, the E38, for those of you who don't know, is the 7 Series that was made around when this 5 Series, this is the E39 5 Series from 97 to 03. The E38 was the 7 Series from like 94 to 01, I think, or 02. Um, BMW refreshes their products in order. 753, 753, 753. You can guess the order. The 7 Series was the E38, then the E39, and then the E46 3 Series. And uh, as most of you know, in across all cars, all across the board in the automotive industry, um, they start by putting the nice, cool, really new, up-to-date, modern technology features in the big cars, the expensive ones. So features in the 7 Series, they debuted there, and then they moved on to the 5 Series. And this 5 Series is very close to an E38 7 Series. It's a little shorter. Um, it, well, in this case, the M5, it's, it's a better engine option, but the interior, I've um, been inside a couple E38 7s. And they're really, really similar. It's like the same dash layout, and it's it's a nice design. Yes, they're dated, but yes, they're still good cars. Um, so yeah, do I recommend buying an E38 7 Series? Definitely. If you can find, uh, they made a 730, a 740, and a 750, at least around here. The 730, I've very, seen very few of them. Most of them are 740s. There's an I, which is just injected, and then there's IL, which is the longer... Uh, wheelbase model, you get like an extra six or eight inches in the back seat. So if you're carrying a lot of people, that would be useful. Um, they're good engines, they look nice. Uh, they're good cars, they're just all around great cars. And that was the first BMW with a navigation screen, actually the same nav screen that I have. Then they updated that in 2001 to a 16 by nine display, which the E39 got, as well as the E38 7 series. Uh, they're just really good cars. They have good engines in them. They last a long time. And we're talking about a car that was fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars new. Yes, it's been 10, 15 years, um, at the most 15 years, but they're still good cars to buy. So do I recommend buying one? Definitely, if you can find the right one. And it's just disgusting having this out in this weather. Look at it. The crap coming down from the bumpers. Look at this. This is just absolutely grotesque. Look at the stuff that's coming off of this car. What is that? It's just filth and salt, but I don't have a choice, and uh, it definitely needs to be driven. Last year it sat most of the winter, and then I would drive it, and it was so stiff and tight, and it would take a while for the gas mileage to get back up to snuff. This engine doesn't like to sit. My exhaust tips are filthy inside and out. I need to clean them. Look at that. Look at that shit that just comes off of that. Anyways, tomorrow's Saturday. It's going to be a regular Saturday. Sunday, we've got some cool plans. Um, but uh, that's it for today. A little longer vlog today. I don't know if you like him or not. I kind of hear both sides of that story. And uh, I'll talk to you uh, tomorrow, Saturday morning. Good night.